Hello, my name is Iman Onsando. I'm a curator at Kyoko Art Gallery and welcome to our space. So we have this coat, it's by Lauren Okoth and she's a student studying fashion design. And we particularly liked this piece because of the unconventional materials used. And so she used hair extensions. And we thought that that was just a very interesting interpretation of avant-garde. And she's inspired by street style, but she wants to make it kind of more high fashion and use unconventional materials. And we paired it with this painting by Ash Uman. And so he's a Ugandan artist who likes to do a lot of abstract pieces. So the next piece that we have is this piece by Wanjiko Murigi. And she's a 21 year old student from University of Nairobi. And so this piece actually has a lot of symbolic meaning, like a pristine white dress that sort of has elements of um, like softness and femininity and it, it gives off like bridal ideas and she wanted to pair it with a harsh black cage to kind of show the duality of freedom and constriction. We paired it with this painting which is called Bold Lines by Kyoko Mutiki and yeah we thought that the bold lines of the painting matched up with the bold lines in the dress. So on the topic of art we think that right now as it stands, people in Nairobi especially could definitely appreciate art more. What I really want to give as a, as a mantra or a, a, a little storyline for young Kenyan artists who want to be there and make money, and I have to insist that they have to make money because art is no longer a hobby, is that they have to be really themselves and create stuff all that stuff that you create or things that you make and you think people will not be interested in buying or seeing, uh, it's time to come out of the closet and just come out and show who you are and what kind of stuff you want or what you make because that's what people want to see. So it's the right time to just come out and tell us what you want to do or what are you doing and we'll give you the space. There's no limit to what the future of art in Kenya could hold. So far there's a lot of interesting contributions being made by young people and I think the future of art in Kenya it's going towards a more abstract and more abstract style of art because the way life is right now it's very hectic and very busy and I feel like people's perspective reflects that when they make their art and so people make a lot of like art that's questioning where society is now how fast Kenya is modernizing and so I think in terms of what's going on in society, there's a lot of inspiration right now for artists in Kenya.